Hello my sweet friends and welcome to today's uh, small demo that I'm going to be doing for you. I was going to do it live but I decided not to do it live because I was not going to be here today. This is not what we're demoing. I'm just showing you a few of my dolls because today we're going to be talking about, let me show it here because I put it like this, you won't see it. I'm going to place her like this and this little one, oops, that is right here. You see her? Well, I'm going, I'm going to leave this one in the back and I'm gonna to explain to you a little bit about my sugar dolls and why I make them the way I make them. Uh, these are my some of my black eye dolls and I'm gonna explain why. Uh, when I started modeling these kinds of dolls, like this one over here, this is a steampunk, um, Snow White, I really, the feature that it's a struggle for me are the eyes, have always been the eyes. I think I can manage to do most of the features in a doll, but the eyes, like these realistic eyes that look like porcelain dolls, for me, it's it's hard. I, I, I'm, I'm a very self-taught person and I like just to try it out and to see how everything uh, works for me. And I kept, I, I kept struggling with the eyes. So I decided to just leave the eyes in black. Uh, sort of like, I don't know if you have seen that the dark crystal uh, puppets, sort of that, um, that vibe because I was, I was a really big fan of the show. And well, they turned out to be the black eye dolls. Last, no, it wasn't last, it was like three Halloweens ago. I decided to do a Katrina, a Katrina doll based on the Mexico tradition. And I made this one black eye doll again the thing was that for this i made the the head the whole body white because because of the base of the makeup was going to be white so i was like okay i'm going to make it all white and i made the eyes and by mistake i made the eyes quite when i opened the whole of the eyes i make them quite uh, deep as you can see and when i paint the yellow around and put the uh, the, the the black hair just to create some some sort of lashes, I realized by putting the black ball to create the eye, I don't know if you can see it there. I'm gonna try to bring the doll as close as I can. Good. So try it, when I put the ball inside, I put it really to the back because it was quite deep, the hole that I opened, and it turned out that the fact with the white and the black the black dot or the black uh, little ball in there, it looks like she's following you with her eyes. This is how this came to be. And I put it in practice again when I did the steampunk collaboration and I made Priscilla, which is not here because I have it in a special shelf, but I will show you a picture next to this, um, where I make this eye. So I'm going to do, well, the first thing that we're going to do today is I'm going to model for you a basic shape head, and I'm going to show you how I made this in flesh tone, because this was white, this girl was all white, and that's why the effect was managed, but when we're doing flesh tones uh, dolls, we have to do a little bit different. So stay here, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to model very quickly this face and then I'm going to show you how to make the following eyes. Um, I
Okay, so as you can see, I made a very basic shaped head. Uh, she has a little bit of smile. So now I'm going to proceed to open the eyes. Okay, so now that I have this open, I'm just gonna take some white sugar paste. I'm going to wet, but just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want water coming out. This is just water. I'm not using uh, edible glue, just water. And I'm going to take a little ball of white, more or less the size of the eye, but one that you know it's gonna fit in, right? Let me see, I think this one is big. I'm gonna take a little bit out of this. Like if you put it in and it's hard for it to fit in, remove a little bit more because we don't want the white coming out. We don't want, we want to push it in. I know it's not anatomically correct. Uh, if you do anatomically correct, anatomically correct uh, dolls, um, but it works for this. So using this one, now I'm just gonna push this inside and cover the whole eye with the white, but I'm pushing in, okay? It's not sticking out. Like our, our eyes are round towards the outside, but they have movement. And because they have muscle and movements, that's why we see the eye moving, of course, because it moves. In this case, this one doesn't move, 
So we have to create the illusion that is moving by creating the opposite shape. So it's not going to be round, it's going to be concave. It is concave, right? I think I'm saying it correct, I don't know. Okay, let me just push this white up here. So now, white is inside. And I'm going to take two little balls of black. These have to be little. Yes, they fit in there. So I'm going to make the other one the same size. Yeah. And I'm going, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife just to take it and place it where I want it, what I want it to be. I'm not going to glue it yet because first I want to see where she's going to be looking and how this is, because we don't want her to have like crossed eyes or something like that, right? So when we look straight forward, our eyes are actually not absolutely in the middle. They're a little bit towards the inside, but this one is too much on the inside. So she looks like she has an ivy issue, <laughs> side issue. Okay. Now, I think I like it here. You can change, you can totally change that. For example, you can make it look up here, move this up here right so she will be looking up or you can make her look not like that but you can make her now she looks crazy but you can make her look down as well but you have to move both eyes otherwise it looks like she has issues right she will be looking down but i think i'm gonna leave it in the middle so you guys can see the effect even better so the eyes are going to be around here. Now I'm going to take them out. Since I've been messing with the white, I'm just going to smooth it a little bit. I think this one, I'm just going to add a little, little tiny bit of white because it has a little bit less and I feel that the eye is going towards uh, more towards the back than on the other side. So I'm just going to add a little piece of white and blend it in here just to make sure that the eye doesn't go all the way. I mean, it's further back than the other. Now I'm going to take just a tiny bit of water around my black dots. And I think this one is a slightly bigger. So I'm going to take a little piece and make it smaller. Now they're more even, I think. No. I'm going to glue them right in the middle. In the middle, but a little bit towards the inside, towards the nose. Not to like right here, but just a little push. Whoops, just a little push here will make the difference. Now I'm just going to tap it a little bit because I don't want to lose the roundness of this black ball just to make sure it holds in there. And now let's see if it works. She's looking up. Let me see, let me put it here so you can see better, or oh, here. She's looking up, she's looking down, she's looking to one side, and she's looking to the other side. See the fact? Ah, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> love it, I love it. Okay, now I'm just going to work a little, a little details, not too many, or not too much uh, detail, too many detail, too much detail. In the eyes, I'm just going to push this inside a little bit, and here as well, right? Maybe create some lines in here and in here. Now, let me just add some lower lead barely but just to you know just to give her some detail in the eye you can make more you can you can take your time 
and do much more with this. I try to recreate this in a bigger piece, like in a bust. It doesn't look that well as in a small, um, smaller doll because of the, the proportion. So it looks weird. Uh, it looks, I, I mean, I didn't dislike it, but it looks a little bit weird. I'm going to create the upper eyelid here. Not too much, just to create some, some casing for the eye, right? Because now, in, in all what it is, the, the details of the face, I love making little monsters, wrinkles and stuff, so I could spend hours in there. I'm just going to push this here a little bit, and in here. Because we have this, 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 I don't know, what it's not a hole. <laughs> we have this indentation, I think it's called, in here, that it's more towards the inside, right? So it's not, this one is a little bit high. I don't want it to be too high. I'm talk, I talk a lot, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. This nose is kind of weird, but. We're focusing in the eyes, right? And now let me just create some uh, space for her eyebrows. I'm assuming she's a girl. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit just to she will have like this. Not too much because she's not, she's not a monster. I've been doing monsters for Halloween, so I'm I'm in a monster phase. I'm I'm trying to not put anything like monster. This will be covered with it, but she still has a little bit of a, a bit of a big forehead, but this will be covered with hair later. Later, okay. Now, if you want more illusion into your eye, with you can use an edible marker, right, like this one, and just add some light into the eyes the thing with this with the light is it's going to now it does create the effect but not as I mean because the light will change if you move your eyes but anyway you can create some light into it and then you can add you can use a marker or you can use like a little piece of black fondant and create some sort of eyeliner on the top to give the illusion. You can do eyelashes, but eyelashes take forever, especially in these small uh, sugar dolls. So I'm going to just create like an eyeliner just to add some some casing for the eyes, right? So I'm just going to put this there and here a little bit. Like I said, this is not perfectly anatomically correct, but it's fun to make. Okay, so I'm just going to put it here. And now I'm just going to bend it to where I want it. Maybe give her some. Uh, the good thing about using water is now you look at it and it's a bit wet, but it will dry and it will not leave this uh, glossy finish like shiny finish so that's why i like to use the water okay okay so she has some sort of lash it's not a lash it's like a night liner i'm just gonna take this pit this little bit here because i don't want it okay I also struggle a little bit, I don't know you guys, but I struggle a little bit with 
uh, the symmetry of the eyes. Usually one is bigger than the other, but I think it's in our nature, right? My, I have an eye way bigger than the other and higher than the other. That's why I'm always like posing sideways on the pictures. So people will notice. And I guess many of us do, so she does as well. <laughs> She's a reflection of me, so. Isn't it? Our work is always a reflection of ourselves. Okay, guys, so this is pretty basic, but it's pretty much it. This is what you do in order to create the following eye effect or the Mona Lisa eyes. So as you can see, she's following you. Let me see if you can see this. Yeah, uh, it's, it's focus here. Okay. So she follows. She follows. She's looking up. She's looking down. Woohoo. So this is it guys. I really hope that you liked this small tutorial of the following eye effect. I will um I will I'll keep posting things for you here in the group and on YouTube channel and everywhere that I can. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message here or a comment below or a private message or whatever. I'll happily answer you back. Thank you so much for watching. Big kisses and stay safe. And as always, stay creative. Bye-bye.